Hello, everyone. During today's demonstration, we'll be looking at how to create a work item from Salesforce with attachments in Azure DevOps. Uh, the next flow would be resolving the incident uh, or case in ServiceNow, and that will be linked directly to our Salesforce um, case. And then as soon as the ServiceNow uh, incident will be resolved, uh, we'll run another operation that will update Azure DevOps work item with the latest status. And um, in the same operation, it will update Salesforce case uh, with the latest status as well. So this will be um, a bi-directional or multiple flows that will be um, executed uh, in our Jitterbit Studio um, platform. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll go through each case and look at each operation. Okay, so now we'll jump into our Jitterbit Studio. Um, so in the first operation, what we're doing is uh, we're gonna be querying our cases in Salesforce and um, getting the um, attachment as well. So we'll get the case from Salesforce with attachment. And then we're using our uh, Salesforce uh, query wizard here. So we have a connector that will help you do that. Um, and for our Azure DevOps, we'll be connecting using uh, the APIs that um, Azure DevOps is exposing. So um, the, uh, the target here looks like a URL with some of the um, uh, the variables that we're using that we're populating in the URL itself uh, to get connected. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll create the issue from Salesforce, um, and then uh, we'll get that ID, and then we'll insert the attachment. And uh, one of the last steps here, we will be updating the case in um salesforce with the external id that comes from uh devops so uh if we go back here and go into our salesforce uh we can see that uh we have a case um, in here we also have an attachment um, so we'll be um grabbing this case and um after we run that uh, operation we'll be creating a work item in our uh, devops uh, Azure DevOps. So let's do that first. So let's run this. And we're going to be running this manually. Um, it could also be put on schedule. So um, while this is running here, um, you can see that we can create a schedule here. I have an example um, of a daily schedule uh, that looks like this. Um, so that can be uh, attached to any operation, so you don't have to run it. Now it looks like we have a success. Um, if you do want to check the logs, uh, this is where you would go and look at the logs. Um, you can also add some additional information if you want, but it looks like everything was a success. The work item ID is number 14 that was created. So let's double check on that. So now let's switch back to. Um, work item and refresh so we do have the work item that got created okay and uh seeking guidance on electrical writing so let's just go back here and this is the same piece that was created with the uh, ticket um, well this is our external id I got populated from um, Azure DevOps. So now we can see that we have our item. If we go here and look at the attachment, um, so the attachment here down, you'll see, uh, let's open this file just to make sure it's the same one. So we have a bunch of uh, items in here. Let's switch to our Azure DevOps, uh, our attachment, I'm going to download it, and open it, and it's the same one. So we've inserted, successfully inserted the um, case of work item in our Azure DevOps, 
and uh, from Salesforce with attachments. Now, um, let's look at the, uh, the state right now is to do. There are other states there. So we'll just uh, look at that um, for the future uh, when we run this other operation. So now we have created um, a case, a case that was created in, uh, or an incident was created in ServiceNow, um, and it was resolved. So the requirement here, as soon as the case gets resolved, uh, we need to run the operation that will update the status here in Salesforce. So we have uh, a status new, and in our Azure DevOps, our status right now is to do. So um, after we run this uh, second operation here, uh, what this will do, uh, we'll connect to uh, ServiceNow uh, using their expose their API. We'll use this API to connect to ServiceNow to get the customer service case. Um, and then from, from here, uh, we will be running uh, two operations. So as soon as we uh, create these global variables just to have the information, um, all those IDs in the variables. We're going to run uh, first operation. We'll be updating DevOps case status. So in this case, we're using one of our functions uh, in Jitterbit to run the operation from uh, the script. And now uh, we'll um, also be writing to the operation log. That's another function that will allow you to add some additional comments or some additional data into your response. Then the second operation here is to update the status in um, Salesforce. Um, and as we put that in the script, these, um, uh, the, the, this was defined from the script. You can see the, the comment here. So as soon as we run this operation, uh, the status will get updated in our DevOps and it will get updated in uh, Salesforce. So let's run this manually now. Again, uh, we're running it manually, but it could be put on schedule and run every minute if it has to, um, to be as close as real time as possible. So let's run this now. And now as soon as this is finished, we'll go back to our Salesforce and into our Azure DevOps and check to see the status. So let's check the DevOps first. Reload. And it looks like the status now changed to done, that particular work item. And then if we refresh our Salesforce, now the status here is closed. So if we go back here, you see that we are we have three endpoints that we're connecting here. And um and in very quickly by selecting uh the status, um, the cases from sales uh, from ServiceNow, um, if we can update our two other systems, Salesforce and DevOps, with the right status um, within one operation. It's pretty easy. And um, to close this down, we'll uh, close out this uh, demo. We'll go back to um, our agenda. And uh, so we looked at create a work item from Salesforce with attachments and include in, insert them into Azure DevOps. So we did that. Uh, after the ticket or incident gets resolved in ServiceNow, the um, operation will be triggered to update Azure DevOps work item with the latest status. And um, at the same time, um, the other operation will be called within the same um, operation to update their Salesforce case with the latest status. Um, so now our uh, workflow is complete, and this concludes my demo. Uh, please contact Jitterbit if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much.